It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'll be responding to a video campaign against sexual harassment because the logic behind the video I found to be really repulsive. The campaign comes directly from the United Kingdom. It says out loud, most guys don't look in the mirror and see a problem, but it's staring us in the face. Sexual violence begins long before you think it does. Hashtag don't be that guy. Before I respond to this video, I first want to state that it appears as though this whole entire campaign seems to be built on this idea that if you tell a man not to rape, then men will stop raping. Now first and foremost, I'm obviously against, you know, sexual harassment, I'm against rape and other misconduct. And so naturally, I'm against the examples as provided by the video before I respond to it. At the same time, no matter how much you tell people not to rape, people are still going to rape no matter what. For example, a rapist in his mind or her mind will always make up her own mind about raping somebody, and so no matter how much you tell a person not to rape somebody, they will do it anyway. Regardless of what people wear, regardless of what people do, they will always find ways to, you know, sexually harass somebody. And so, this whole entire idea that somehow an entire gender should be felt guilty just because of the actions of a few is very dangerous logic. And so without further hesitation, let's respond to the video and just see how bad it is. Ever call the gold doll? Or whistle that are walking down the street. I agree that whistling at a girl and calling her outside of a name can in fact be interpreted as sexual harassment. That itself is really bad when people do in fact catcall. However, you mean to tell me that because somebody calls somebody outside of their name, that because somebody cat call a girl on the streets, that somehow leads to sexual violence? I think most men who, you know, have done that kind of stuff don't want to go out and just rape somebody or commit some sort of acts of violence against a woman just because they cat called her on the street. That sounds insane. On top of that though, are you meaning to tell me that women at no sort of point whatsoever have done some sort of cat calling or call a guy outside her name? Because I'm telling you right now, this is not, you know, gender specific at all. Ever stared at a woman on a bus or said to me, and do that. Oh yes, the very act of just looking at a girl must be some sort of original sin for these sort of people. Oh yes, I look at the girl and of course talk to my friends that hey, I totally want to bang this girl. Talking about something and actually doing something are totally different things. There are people in real life who look at magazines they look at pretty girls or pretty guys, and they also say, hey, you know, I want to bang that girl, I want to bang that guy from that pretty magazine or movie or whatever. It doesn't mean that, of course, they themselves want to actually rape somebody. It's just people have fantasies, right? And so sometimes they talk about fantasies with their friends. They don't actually go out to do that kind of stuff. You mean to tell me that somehow looking at somebody and talking about fantasies is somehow leads to sexual violence? You ever give a girl a compliment? Like, nice. Then I wonder why you didn't get a thank you. If somebody just went up to me and say, oh, Tyler, nice, nice. Yeah, I too would also probably, you know, cringe at that. It probably would not lead to, you know, sexual violence, but it's just... Cringe. Ever slid into a girl's DMs? I went ahead and just showed her it. Oh yes, the infamous dick pictures. Now, it's true that in some open relationships between boyfriends and girlfriends, they too have shown dick pictures at each other sometimes, or sometimes the girl will go ahead and just show her breasts to the boyfriend and vice versa. Now, the whole entire problem with this is that sometimes, like of course, with the internet and everything, you could just share the dick pictures or the breast pictures, whatever, to you other peers and whatnot, and they could probably, you know, do something that way. And that is really scary. Which is why I don't actually go out and do that kind of stuff myself, 
because I know for a fact that if I would have just sent a dick picture in front of somebody, like of course, it would probably just spread all over the place. And so, that is why if a girl wanna see my dick, they have to be in person, not through a picture. Okay, that sounds crazy. But anyway, the main point I'm trying to say here is that this kind of stuff requires, of course, you know, people to just block other people. If you don't wanna, you know, have your whole entire breasts or dick spread all over the place, don't post it on the internet. Please, guys. Don't post this kind of stuff on the internet. And not just that, though. But also, if a guy is, of course, trying to, you know, send some sort of dick picture, and you don't want the dick picture, you can always block that guy. Now, is it true that sometimes people can find people's addresses? And they could probably, you know, find that girl address? Sure, it's entirely possible. Which is why it's very important to call the police in that kind of situation. You ever bought a lasty dinner? I felt that meant she owed you something. You ever got a three shots in a row hoping you'd get a shot of her? Oh yes, this whole entire, you know, situation about, of course, trying to make a girl drunk and to get her into bed. The kind of behavior that comes directly from frat boys. Now look guys, when you go out for a drink, be sure to see if they actually put stuff in the drink or not. It's not just for women too, but also men, because sometimes there are people that do in fact try to take advantage of somebody during those kind of parties. And so naturally, you have to, you know, limit what kind of drinks you want to have, or double check if it was actually drugged or not, or find people that you trust before you go out and do that kind of crazy stuff. Now, of course, I'm not trying to victim blame the person who gets drunk or get taken advantage of. I'm just saying that people in that kind of environment needs to actually, of course, check the stuff that they're doing and what kind of drink that they take. That being said, though, how is it that, you know, the actions of, like, you know, a few frat boys at a party means that somehow it's justifiable to demonize an entire gender just because of those actions of the frat boys. I mean, people are gonna take advantage of girls no matter what. And so, you should probably, you know, actually talk to those kind of people, actually talk about, you know, the rape gangs that's been happening in the United Kingdom for a long time. I actually go after things that are worth a damn and not go after their entire gender just because some frat boys wanna, you know, bang girls. You have a guilt trip to or pressure her or push her into it. This is what you guys are literally doing. Guilt tripping guys and pressuring them to, you know, fix something that they have not tried to, you know, do in the first place. This is literally what you guys are doing. That's just so ironic to me. And most men don't look in the mirror and see a problem. Citation is needed. Look guys, in most Western countries, men do in fact have a problem against sexual misconduct and also rape. Most men in these sort of Western countries already know about this sort of stuff is bad. We already know this sort of stuff. Now, in more Middle Eastern countries, of course, the sort of idea of rape culture is in fact prominent in those places. And so yes, those guys in those Middle Eastern countries are raised in that sort of environment of rape culture. I totally understand that whole entire thing. But for the most part, we have laws against rape. Most people take women way more seriously. In fact, it's obvious that we have more rights for women in comparison to what men have. And so, I don't think for a single second that most guys living the Western, like the whole entire Western sphere, think that raping a girl, taking advantage of a girl is actually okay. And the, the people that actually do that kind of stuff do it anyway, in spite of knowing that is actually wrong. Telling men to stop raping will not so will stop the rapist from raping somebody else. That's not gonna happen. They already know it's bad. But it's staring us right in the face. Sexual violence 
starts long before you think it does. We're finally done with this whole entire shit show. Now, I'm not a fan of guilt tripping an entire gender for things that they have not done. I also hate the whole entire implementation that somehow all guys should feel guilty of stuff they have not done. No, because once you actually go forth and demonize an entire group of people for things that they have not done, it gets worse from here on out and the relationships between both genders will get worser by this sort of messaging right here. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.